Right, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to do an Oktoberfest beer. Do you know what? Right, I uh, said this year I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really bother doing an Oktoberfest beer, but I I have actually done one. I'm gonna confess I have actually done one, but I'm not gonna put it out because it was the Paulana Oktoberfest beer. Now last year it was absolutely awesome. And I'd sort of heard on the beer front that it weren't quite so awesome this year. And I thought, well, I'm going to be the judge of my own taste buds and see what I think. Now, I know I rated it quite highly uh, last year, although I'm not look, looking back on any of them videos. I want to see, I don't want any influence. But I drank it and I just, maybe because I'd had a couple of really, really good other German beers as well before it I don't know but it just echoed what I've been hearing about it it just wasn't quite as good don't get me wrong if I gave it to a friend of mine and said what do you think of this it's an Oktoberfest beer it's they'd be like it's ah whoa that's absolutely banging but I just know that last year it was a lot better so Crumby says Crumby Beard check him out on YouTube he said it all depends on the on the on the harvest of the grain and you know and how the weather is and you know it, all, it has a lot of influence on the, the ingredients it's raw ingredients they've only got four ingredients to use you know the water's going to be as good you know the hops are probably going to be as good although some of the hop crops can be different can't they but i think it's more the barley it's more the malts that can be different well anyway anyway one beer i know that really came up trumps last year that really hit a spot was this one so i'm not going to bring the paul Arna one to the channel because i basically drank it didn't really i enjoyed it because it was great but but i was a being it against what i remember from last year so i didn't want i don't really want to come in here and say it's not as good or whatever i don't because i really was disappointed with it um and also i wanted to review some other german beers that are around the Oktoberfest period and that's what i intend to do i'm away this weekend so when it with the Oktoberfest weekend the real celebration so I might have a few little videos to put on here with a mate who I'm going to see over in Wales but anyway now as I've said on another video I'm running out of glasses because what I do is about every every month or so I regenerate my glasses so in order to do them you need a complete I, I clean the dishwasher with a cleaner I run it through with just the salt a few times. Then I put a cleaner in it so it cleans it all out. Then I run it through again to make sure it's swirled. And then I put all the glasses in with a regenerate powder, run it on the hottest wash possible. And then I run it again twice with just the salt in, no detergent or nothing. And the end result means perfectly beer clean glass, to be quite honest with you. And then to keep the glasses maintained thereafter, I just use the warm salt water and a very clean bottle brush. It works all the time. Anyway, you probably see me flashing this about. I've not got me. I've got me a Stein here, but I'm not going to have two of these in it. Um, so I'm going to use my faithful Everard's jug. So here we have Oktoberfest beer, the Hofbra Oktoberfest beer. I think what is this coming in at the same? Six point three percent. Yep, six point three percent in my beloved beautiful Everard's jug that I everywhere I go every pub shed I go every place I go I I gift my friends these they're fantastic the um the decal now and all the branding that Everard's have got although I'm looking at this glass and this probably this is why I need to regenerate my glasses because I've probably not used this for a while and uh, you do get nucleation points on the side of the glass and the very very person that i'm going to see this weekend he was putting photos on his instagram with lots and lots of nucleation points on his glass and i thought oh do i do i give him some advice on how to get rid of that and make the, the beer look as beautiful as it should do in the glass and am i going to offend him anyway i reached out to him and the end result was we've become really great friends so feedback is a gift um so yeah well we've got now i don't think this glass has got a nucleation point on the bottom but we have got now some rising carbonation in there 
a very, 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 so I've not got no nucleation points on the, uh, on the side of the glass, a few lots, so you, you probably see like a few, so you can slag me off because I, I always do bang on about beer clean glasses, you can go, ah, Spano's not got a beer clean glass, but it'll still be clean enough to make sure this head stays on this beer all the way down to the bottom, trust me, right? So yeah, a very sort of like fairly compact head. Now I don't, I can't remember last year how it was. It's been a year ago. Um, the only thing I do remember about last year, the weather was terrible. And I think we've had a similar terrible weather um, this year. So it's a thing, isn't it? Looking quite golden. From what I can remember, I think this was a bit darker last year. But I will look at my review once I've reviewed this and talk about it. But anyway, this is one of the one of the big six, one of the only official beers. There's only six official um, breweries that are allowed to showcase their beer at Oktoberfest and call it a true Oktoberfest beer. Um, and Hofbra is one of them. I'm not putting it on here yet because there's still some beer in there. So, yeah, the similar sort of smell from last year. You got a bit of them malts. But it's hard to get the, the aromas when you've got a very compact head. I've learned that a lot. The head of the beer actually stops the full aromas of, of the beer. And that's something that's quite strange because, well, not strange, but it's a real fact. Because of the, the amount of smell that people get out of the beer, sometimes a beggar's belief for me because I'll think, how are you getting all that? Because basically, I can smell some sort of almost cereal malts, grainy malts. I've learned a lot since last year as well, so I can probably talk a little bit more, like I know a bit more what I'm doing. But not, not too hoppy, not a lot else. These beers don't really have masses of aroma. Where it all comes to the front is in the taste. 6.3%, I remember this one being like ridiculously easy to drink. Um, so let's see if this is good to drink this year. Prost. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's crisp. Oh. Oh, that's that's sticky. That's malty. That's grainy. Oh. I, I don't mean to say it, but that does blow the, the, the Paul Arna one out of the water. This year's Paul Arna beer, I'm really sorry, guys, because, you know, I do tag them, and, and everybody that tags them, they appreciate it. I'm sure they do, because I always get a response. I always get a like, if I share a story and tag Paul Arna, They'll like it, you know, and, and they must have a team of people that know that on social media it goes mad and they're making sure that they interact. I really like that. I do like that. I'm not saying I'm an individual. It's like, oh, Spenno's posted something, so I'm going to do whatever. They're just interactive, which is great. Uh, I've messaged them and they've messaged me back, which is even greater. They, a lot of their stuff's in English as well, which is great. Um, but this, yeah. I just know that when I had the Paul Arna beer this year, it didn't blow me away. And it was probably a little bit astringent compared to what it usually is. It was almost like, well, some of the water quality weren't quite there. But I don't know. I don't know. It's still really good. But we have very high expectations of these beers, don't we? The Oktoberfest beers, we have high expectations. And that's the reason why. This one is Oh, this is as great as I remember it. Crisp, hoppy. You really taste them sort of like nice sort of like German hops in there. And the malt balance, really grainy, really like a grassy, um, really, yeah, nice, sweet, malty balance. Oh, this is, oh, this is great. There's almost, there's, 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 there's the, the sweeter malts coming into my palate, into my mouth now. Ah, oh, but the but not sweet that that's like it's sweet, but it's just the right type of malt sweetness to balance out the quite refreshing crash of that crispness that this is giving you. 
I still can't believe that these brew these beers with four ingredients. There's no adjunct in these, is there? You've got four ingredients, one of them being water. So that's the, that's the most important for me. I think the water is the most important part of any beer. Look how easy this is to drink. This just absolutely flies down. It is, today is particularly, it's been actually sunny today. And this is really refreshing. It's got a tiniest, tiniest little, tiniest bit of dryness in amongst that sweetness. It's lived up to the reputation it gave me from last year. I'll be interested to watch watch my video back from last year it's always a little bit scary and a bit frightening when you review a beer that you've already reviewed and then you say something totally different um but the end of the day i'm a year older i've been drinking a lot more beer <laughs> since i reviewed this last year my taste buds have got more um knowledgeable um as has my um, nostrils my beer knowledge has got more knowledgeable so therefore I'm probably reviewing this beer as a bit more of a knowledgeable beer drinker although I've always been an expert at beer drinking because I know what tastes good and I know what don't now whether or not I can describe that to you I just know that if I think it's a good beer and then I gave it to a beer an established beer reviewer they'd probably go yeah you're right but that's a good beer you know Superb mouthfeel, superb levels of carbonation, really dancing around the mouth, really throwing it all around your taste buds. Oh my God, it's literally a sinker, this is. 6.3%. It's a, oh, I can see why over, over in Germany, why there's people like on the floor, oh my God, can't move, can't get up. <laughs> I can understand that because I'm not being funny. Like you're not over in Germany, over there at Oktoberfest, you're not having it in a five in a pint glass like this. You're having it in a Stein, so you're like, well I'll have a Stein's worth of uh half bra, please. Six point three percent. Yeah, Prost. Oh god, it's sunny. Oh my god, this tastes great. Before you know it, you've drank two pints in about twenty minutes. I can see why. You see, I'm a guzzler. It's one of the reasons why I sort of said, right, I'm going to cut down on drinking beer. I'm going to probably have, a, have some wine. And instead of having like four pints of beer of an evening, I'll have a glass of wine. But because I'm a guzzler, I like to, to, to drink. I started having a glass of wine. Oh, oh, next thing it's gone. We'll have another glass. And before you know it, I was having a bottle of wine. And then I'm not saying every night, but what I'm saying is like, I just think, well, I'm going to have a drink tonight in the week. And have a bottle of wine and then before i know it I'm, i'll just crack open another bottle of wine and have one glass out of that and then i was having a bottle and a half of wine and the thing is the wine weren't good for me because like having a bottle and a half of wine i was proper steaming and it also different booze affects the mind different ways i know where i'm at with beer i know where i'm at with beer um so i know if i guzzle four pints of beer in like an hour and a half is a lot better than having a bottle and a half of wine in an hour and a half. So I, I, I'm not the one on the end and went back to the beer. And this is, oh, the malts. Oh, this is so malty, but really serially malty. Oh, it's really nice. There's so many different types of malt. There is a bit of like, and because I pick it up, Carrot like caramel. I'm getting so much caramel flavour in a lot of these German beers at the minute. Now, probably because my, my brain is picking that out, but it seems like they're just doing with the malts just enough to like, you know, treacleize it a little bit. Look at that for a word. Treak treacleize it. <laughs> it's like, oh I like I think it I tell you what it might be. 
when I went to Jamaica last last January, we went to um, oh I can't think what it's called now, the rum place. I've got some rum from there. Here we go. Here it is. The uh, we went to the Appleton Estate, and there I got to try molasses. Spoon it out and literally try it. And when we talk about molasses in beer and flavours of that, because I've actually tried it now and I've and I've I've had it, like I pick it out more, you know. And uh, there's almost like a subtle, almost like you know, tree colized malt in that. It's a beautiful, malty, hoppy, lovely, oh, it's a stunning beer, stunning, stunning beer. I'm not going to give it a, a 10 out of 10 because it's not shocked me. It's not wowed, well, it has wowed me, but it's not shocked me because I knew what it was going to be like. I knew it was going to be good. I remember last year, I'm sure last year it was a toss-up was it the Hackershaw as well? I can't remember. I'm sure it was a toss-up between this and the Paul Arno being my favouritest October beer. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to watch them back. I don't know who I gave it to. But I know that I was like, ooh, because this was magnificent last year. I remember it. And this hasn't changed. This is still magnificent. In fact, it's probably because I've not had a, a, a Oktoberfest beer for a year it might even feel like it's even more magnificent than what it is. But it is magnificent. So there you go. Spenno's brought you an Oktoberfest beer in this Oktoberfest period. Hopefully I'll get it edited and out there before Oktoberfest is finished, which means I've got to do it either tonight or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. And just remember that, I mean, this year, this year there seems to be a really big stock of it. You know, and especially like the Augustina one. Like I've got I've got about 14 bottles of it down there, whereas last year it was hard to get three. So like I feel like there's there's a big stock of this beer at the minute. So what I suggest you do is just stock up on it um so you can enjoy it for longer. It's not just about this Oktoberfest period, it's about enjoying it for longer. Beautiful. Right, cheers everybody. I've been spelling again. And you'll probably see me on another video wearing the same jacket, the same mic, and it. And I'll try to convince you it's a, it's. I've not done it on the same night, but you'll probably know I have. So, but it doesn't matter because I've got my tonic water here, which I always have to cleanse the palate. I just get a little bit more larrier the more drink I drink. <laughs> right, cheers everybody, much love. Mm. Cheers everyone for. Oh my god, that last swig. Oh, crikey. Oh my days, day, oh my word. Oh, it's beautiful malt taste in that. It's outrageously good, that is. I'm convinced that's the best Oktoberfest beer. In fact, I said the other day the, the Wine Stefana one was up against some of these. But that that does that does tip that. But the wise to find the one will tip the Spartan one. I know it will. And the Paul Arno one. Right, anyway. Right, cheers. I've got to find another glass for my next beer. Right, make sure you live, love, laugh. And all... I'm, I'm not going to go into this too much. But all I hear on the news... On, I only listen to the radio news. Not Ireland, not Ireland Radio, because there's no bad news on that. It's all fun, good news. But like when I have to listen to radio, radio a certain... With a number two in it. I think, oh my God, it's all doom and gloom. S seriously, just just put it to one side and just live, laugh, love and just smile and just live every day to the fullest, you know, and enjoy yourself. Right, cheers everybody. Been Spedo uh, and uh, much love to you all.